Hi, everybody. Andy Giacomazzi back with you again for another edition of Academics, Talking Academics in Virtual Elevators, where we take that classic elevator pitch to a whole new level. Today, we welcome Dr. Heidi Reeder into the elevator. Dr. Reeder is the program lead for the lead certificate programs at Boise State in the School of Public Service. Dr. Reeder is a Carnegie Foundation award-winning professor who holds communication degrees uh, from Oregon and from Stanford and Arizona State University. Dr. Heidi Reeder, welcome to Academics Talking Academics. Well, it's great to be here. Nice to, to run into you this afternoon. This has been uh, great to see you. Um, first things first, we're in the elevator, of course, and you need to pick a floor. Where would you like to go? Oh, oh uh, lucky number seven, please. Lucky number seven. Let's do it. Sound effects guy will get the uh, ding in there for us. Perfect. And we are off and running. First thing, Heidi, uh, you're the program lead for lead. A little confusing. Tell us a little bit about a lead for lead. Yeah, well, the, being a program lead is the, t the title that directors are given in the School of Public Service. And my program just happens to be leadership and lead is short for that. So, yeah, I'm um, the program lead for the lead program. It's kind of a hall of mirrors kind of effect. Yeah, lead uh, leader of the lead program is... Dr. Heidi Leader Reader. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm, yeah. Um, stick to the script. Okay. Got it. I will. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about this. Why is there a need for leadership certificates? Oh, well, every field is really looking for uh, people who have leadership uh, capacity. So whether they're moving into the criminal justice arena or the school of public, uh, excuse me, the school of public service or public policy, any of the fields in the school of public service, um, those fields are looking for people who have skills in communication and um, being able to solve problems and um, have empathy and um, be able to move people and influence people toward toward the greater good. And so. Um, you know, we're excited to be able to offer those skills to really any major. And I mean, if there's any time that we've needed effective and nimble and responsive leaders, I think it's today. And so this is great time. And these certificates, by the way, uh, as we know, are not new. They're new to the School of Public Service. They came over from the College of Innovation and Design at Boise yeah. State University. Tell us a little bit about the, the differences and similarities between the two certificates that you are the lead of. Okay, great. Well, yes, we do have two certificates. One is an in-person version of the certificate program and another is an online version. And the in-person came first. It's really our flagship program. It's where students get to work together. They have a lot of dialogue. They get to practice the kind of skills that we talk about and they get live feedback from their peers and from the instructor. The online program is for, it's a lot of the same content, but it's a different way of delivering the program, obviously. And so students do a lot more of, of self-reflection, but they get a lot of flexibility uh, as, as their reward for, for doing more of the investigative work on their own. That is just so important these days. What kind of uh, student benefits from your program? Are we talking just about School of Public Service students or can anybody really uh, join one of these certificate programs? Well, it's, it's really in, in any field. I mean, I love that we're in the School of Public Service. I think that makes a lot of sense, but you could have theater arts majors in the class with you. You could have um, um, biology majors in the class with you because leadership transcends the field. It's about growing yourself as a person and being able to bring other people together in that process. So that's what we focus on. It's really a great program for anybody who's interested in growing themselves and seeing themselves in a new way. One of our favorite things is when students come into our courses, not thinking of themselves as having leadership skills and capacity, but they walk away a few classes later, really seeing that they do and they know how to grow it further. Personal benefits aside, I think the certificate programs you know, on a transcript for a student uh, would be very attractive either to potential employers or even for that student who is uh, really trying to do more for themselves, um, personal growth, uh, really trying to take that leadership journey for even uh, employers who are employing them for, for growth within that organization, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our, our students, uh, I've had students tell me that when they go in for an interview, 
the person interviewing them is actually more interested in talking about what they, why they took the leadership program and what they got out of that than actually um, their major. It shows a lot of initiative because when you get into an organization, you may be tapped for further training and they'll know that you're somebody who's already been invested in that. And uh, so that can be very attractive. Let me ask you this. What makes a person a great leader? You know, there are a lot of ways of defining leadership and talking about effective leadership, but there's two things I could distill it down to. One is that really effective leaders, they don't focus on themselves. It's not about them. I'm the leader. It's about the work and the people, and that's where their focus goes. And so they end up looking very humble about themselves, but really aggressive and going all in when it comes to determined when it comes to their people and to the work that the people do. And then the second thing that I think really characterizes effective leaders is that they truly see other human beings as people, not as tools, not as objects, not as a mechanism to get something or you have to like deal with these people, but real people. And so they're able to communicate with them in a way that brings out the best in everyone. And we hope to really bring those foundational ideas into each of our courses. Outward focus, humility, and it's about people. I love it. Exactly. Uh, you know, you've told us a little bit about the, the two certificates that we have right now in leadership. I um, was curious, are you working on anything else in the leadership area in terms of programs? Yeah, we're really excited to be working on a graduate level certificate in leadership. And it um, really moves the needle forward in terms of if you've already taken our undergraduate program, taking that graduate program will now get you into the area of uh, decision making and also so leading through change, which is uh, really important in our in our contemporary world. I, you are the perfect leader to be leading the lead program, and we appreciate you being thank in the you. elevator today. We did make it up to the seventh floor, so we're going to have to get okay. out at this point, but thank yeah. you so much for being here. Yeah, nice to talk with you. Nice to talk with you as well, and thank you for watching. Join us next time on another edition of Academics, Talking Academics in Virtual Elevators.